Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition of Quick Hits. It is good to be back. Um, let's get into today's show. Uh, Errol Spence still giving assurance that Terrence Crawford is next. Um, it hit a hiccup. Michael Coppinger reported the fight's in jeopardy. Errol Spence said they're still negotiating. Uh, Steven Espinosa said they're still negotiating, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, twice a day, you know, once a day, um, every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you updated on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, we're going to uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into today's show. Um, oh, yeah, all proceeds from uh, Texas Boxing Scene go to Autism Research and Recovery. Right, I'm, I'm a little out of it, guys. All right, um, let's get into today's show. Um, Errol Spence took to, to Twitter, took to Twitter today and said that that fight is, is still going to happen. Um, Steven Espinosa, um, also doubled down on that. He said negotiations are ongoing and we're still working hard to make the fight. Um, you know, the fight was originally is uh, it, it was originally penciled in for November 19th. And that's not going to happen. I don't know if the fight's probably not going to happen this year. My, my personal guess is February. Um, we'll see which would mean that Crawford was out the entire year again. Um, I, you know, look, it's already October. <clears throat> is it realistic to think that he's going to fight again this year? I, I don't, I don't think so. Um, it seems far fetched to me, honestly, to think that they're going to make the fight within the next two months. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know where these guys are in their camp. So my guess is February guys don't typically like to fight between Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, who wants to do that? Um, so my personal guess is February. I, I'm going to say the first week of February. Let's see how close I am. Um, on Wednesday, um, Spence went to Twitter. He said it's happening. All you need, to, uh, it's happening. All you need to know. Um, with a peace sign. Uh, mm. I, I'm I not that confident in it. Right. I, I would definitely rule it out for this year. As like I said, there's only two months left. Um, there was, you know, Crawford wanted the books opened. He wanted to see where the money was going, right? Because they don't have a guaranteed contract in the fight. There's no guaranteed purse. It's just back end, uh, pay-per-view revenue. Um, so they'll make as much as they can given the, the net, right? So what's coming off the net? What, what are we subtracting from the gross? What, what are we subtracting to come up with that net? Crawford wanted to see the answers to that. They didn't want to show it to him. That's not an unreasonable position to take. Um, unfortunately, it, it is holding up this fight, um, but for good, for good reason. So we're not getting uh, Connor Connor Ben tomorrow, and uh, we're not getting this fight this year. So it's uh, not a great day for boxing. Um, but Spence is confident. Like I, I've always said, if the fighters want the fight, the fight will get made. I, I always believe that neither Spence nor Crawford really, really wanted that fight. You know, if, if, if the dollar amount was right and it was a huge price, they would take it, but they weren't pushing for it, neither one of them. I said the same thing about um, Wilder and AJ back in 2018 or whatever. That You know, I, I think both guys want the fight or are okay with the fight. Like, they're not ducking the fight, but they're not pushing for it, right? Like, if it gets made, it gets made, and I kind of felt that way with this too. Uh, but I think they want it now, right? I, I think um, – you know, they, they both know that they're on the back nine of their career already. So they want to get this taken care of. They want they, they, they want to see who's the best welterweight in the world. They want to prove that they're the best welterweight in the world. Um, it's it's unfortunate that 
you know, we, we've been talking about this fight. I've been talking about it since 2017 because I'm smarter than the average bear, but the boxing world's been talking about this fight since 2018. Um, it's four years, five years in the making now. I, I mean, it's, it's a little bit fatigue. Like, why does it take this long to make this fight? Like, why can't we get this fight? And I'm still not 100% sure we're going we're gonna to make it. We have Keith Thurman sitting in the background. Keith Thurman is eligible, is, is ready to fight, he says. So if this fight falls through, Keith Thurman's going to fight uh, Spence, which, I mean, we've wanted that fight <laughs> since 2016, right? And we didn't get it. So uh, this is getting frustrating at this point. I, I don't know what you got to do to make this fight. Um. Again, I do think this will get made because both guys want it. I think it's going to get made for the first week of February, but that's just speculation. Um, the good news is Spence is still optimistic. We, we haven't heard from Crawford. You know, Apparently, they were close. They had agreed on terms. They just weren't opening the books for Crawford, and that's what's kind of killed it. Um, you know, And I know everyone's going to say the fans they just want to see the fight, just, you know, Crawford should have just took the fight. Guys, this is his this is his livelihood. This is his money. I mean, he wants to just see the books. Show me the books. What do you, you know, if I'm not willing to show you the books, that means I'm trying to hide something. It's just, it is what it is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you think this fight gets made? Do you think Spence is gonna fight Crawford? Do you think Spence is telling the truth? We're saying it's it's happening next. Um, or do you think we're gonna see and, and I, you know, and it's not if this was 2017, 2018, 2019, Crawford, uh, Spence, Thurman is a great fight. You know, Thurman just doesn't fight anymore, right? So this fight really doesn't move. The, the, it, it's going on a year again with, with Thurman out of the ring. It was February. Is it February when he fought um, Barrios? It was February, right? He's been out of the ring almost a year again. I mean, this is Keith Thurman for you, man. We keep the one time a year, Thurman, if you're lucky. Um, I don't know if we get this fight. I would, I'm, I'm down to watch Thurman and, and and Spence. I think Spence wins the fight now because Thurman just pissed away his entire prime. You know, he has. I mean, you just go and look at what he's done since he's 27, 28 years old, you know, entering his prime. He's just giving it all away. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, and are you okay with a Thurman fight? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please subscribe, follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, and also please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery, so it's really near and dear to our heart. Uh, it is October 6, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.